Right now at 5.30, a Queens family is in mourning over the death of a husband and father who was killed while changing a tire on the Long Island Expressway. Welcome back. I'm Dick Brennan. And I'm Christine Johnson. John Lewis was on his way to pick up his wife from work at a nursing home when he had to change a tire. A tragic ending to what had been a normal routine. CBS 2's Corey James spoke with the man's devastated daughter. You can barely hear her, but her emotion is captured in her words. Through the screen door, the daughter of 52-year-old Jean Lewis spoke to us about her father, a man she says had a big personality and a bigger heart. Sadly, police say Lewis was hit and killed on the Long Island Expressway while trying to fix his flat tire during the middle of the night. The accident happened just after midnight Monday. According to officers, Lewis stopped his car on the left shoulder of the westbound LIE near the College Point Boulevard exit. That is where the NYPD says a driver behind the wheel of a Tesla hit him. As Cambria Heights woman heard about the accident on the news, but had no idea the man hit was her neighbor. It has to be heartbreaking to hear that somebody, you know, changing a tire and got killed. You know, it's really hard. Yeah. yeah. I'm so sorry about that. Lewis was rushed less than a mile away to New York Presbyterian Hospital where he died. It's heartbreaking. It's tragic. A tragedy prompting a warning from experts. Robert Sinclair Jr. with AAA says changing a tire roadside depends on the circumstance, but he adds many of the roadways here predate modern transportation engineering and do not have a shoulder wide enough to safely use. In that situation, the best advice is to keep driving if you can, get to the nearest exit, get to where where shoulder is, if you're broken down in the road, stay in the vehicle, particularly at night where other drivers cannot see you and the likelihood of your being struck is very high. That's why the best advice, remain in the vehicle, call AAA, call some roadside, call the police and get them over there to help you. And the driver of the Tesla that hit Lewis remained at the scene and is not facing any charges at this time. Lewis's family tells us that he was a home health aide for over a decade and also worked for Uber before the pandemic hit. He leaves behind a wife of 25 years and two daughters, his youngest only nine years old. In Flushing, Queens, Corey James, CBS 2 News. Tonight, the NYPD's Highway Collision Investigation Squad is still piecing together the circumstances surrounding the tragic accident.